Hi, welcome. This video is all about common household products that you're likely using every single day that I believe may be making your menopause symptoms worse. How? Because they contain endocrine disruptors that may be throwing your hormones even further out of whack. I don't know about you, but I struggle on the daily to try and ameliorate the symptoms and discomforts my hormone shifts have caused me. If there are ingredients in the products that I use every day that are causing further imbalances, I want to know about them so I can avoid those products and make better choices. The following are six types of products that may be hiding ingredients that can interfere with your body's ability to function properly and maintain hormone balance. After we talk about those, I'll let you know some of the things that you can do to try and avoid these items moving forward. The first involves products applied to the skin and absorbed through the skin. These include shampoo, conditioner, skin cream, makeup, deodorant, toothpaste, perfume, and the list goes on. All of these and more have the potential to contain these hormone disrupting ingredients. One of the biggest offenders is fragrance. That one ingredient can encompass hundreds of different chemicals, many of which mess with your hormone function. And think about how many products you have in your home right now with the word fragrance in the ingredient list. Other ingredients like parabens and phthalates can also be problematic. Next are products used to clean. Your cleaners and detergents may be doing you more harm than good. So while you're cleaning up your home, they're messing up your hormones more than menopause already has. In all honesty, things like alcohol, peroxide, vinegar, baking soda, and water are very good at cleaning and disinfecting. So I personally try to avoid the store-bought cleaners as much as possible, or I actively search out the more natural ones. Number three are products that make your house smell nice. While you're enjoying those fancy candles, plug-ins, and fresheners, you may be inhaling chemicals that are undermining all of your best efforts at balancing your hormones in menopause and controlling your symptoms. Pure essential oils are a much better option. Next is plastic. It is extremely hard to avoid plastic altogether. I know I've not been able to do it yet. Everything comes wrapped in it and if you're trying to avoid tap water, plastic bottles are the biggest alternative. Plastic, however, does contain chemicals that can mess with the body's hormone system including the sex hormones, which are already chaotic, especially in perimenopause. So any amount of plastic that you can eliminate from your life is one step closer to better hormone balance in midlife, in my opinion. Also on the list are canned foods and conventionally grown produce. The lining in cans and the residue on fruits and veggies to keep the critters off can also contain hormone disrupting chemicals. Washing your produce thoroughly can help but buying organic whenever possible is even better. And looking for foods in glass jars or buying fresh is a smart idea too. Six is nonstick cookware. The compound used to make the nonstick surface can leach hormone disrupting chemicals into your food if it's worn or damaged in some way. So if you're using these types of pots or pans to cook your feel better in menopause food, please be gentle with it and replace it if it looks worn or damaged. Wow, that is a lot to take in. So here are a few suggestions to get you started in eliminating some of the chemicals and ingredients that are not serving you or your menopause well. One, avoid anything with the word fragrance in the ingredient list. Two, cut way down on plastics. Three, buy organic whenever possible. Four, use BPA-free cans. Five, if you're drinking tap water, filter it. Six, rethink cosmetics or find safer options. Seven, use more natural cleaners like peroxide and vinegar. Eight, check the ingredients on all of your self-care products like shampoo and skin lotion. And try to avoid those with risky ingredients. Nine, be very gentle with your nonstick cookware. And 10, look up a list of endocrine disrupting chemicals so that you know what to avoid when you shop. Coping with all of the symptoms and changes that come with perimenopause and postmenopause is hard enough without adding to the misery. If the products that we're using every single day are amplifying some of those problems, I for one want to know about it so I can avoid them and feel better. If any of you have already made some healthy changes in your home, share them in the comments. I'm sure many of us can use some fantastic suggestions. 
I wish you all health, happiness, and peace of body and mind. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.